uh, if you are single woman, Quran or God of God of Quran does not offer you anything. Um, if you are single woman, again, uh, you are just sadly you you, you do you do not deserve anything. Uh, there is there is verse talks about way to paradise pass under un, under mother's feet. So it clearly says if you do not have a child, or this is the way to paradise. Uh, you cannot ex, uh, you cannot enter the paradise if you don't if you do not have the child. I'm just paraphrasing it. I'm just paraphrasing it. You cannot ex uh, you cannot enter the paradise if you don't if you do not have the child. Um, I was asked a question last time I was here about whether a woman could have a child in paradise. I went and researched the issue afterwards, and yes, actually she can. It's a hadith narrated by Al Hakim and others that uh, and Imam Al Hakim has the chapter heading that you have in paradise whatever you shall desire. And the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that if a person wants to have a child in paradise, then she can. So this is some really good news for sisters, perhaps that can't have children in this world. So this is some really good news for sisters, perhaps that can't have children in this world. In the next world, they will not be deprived, and the hadith is authentic. Barakallahu feekum. Zakallahu khair. Maryam alayhi salam was Maryam married? No. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Talaq how he gave us the story of the two women of paradise, Asya, the woman of the Pharaoh, and Maryam alayhi uh, salam, lati ahsanat farjaha, the chess woman. So how could you ever say so? And please ask any person who says anything for uh, a reference.